Well, hello, guys. Feel like I haven't talked to you all day. Oh, yeah, that's because I haven't. I don't know why. That's just slacker. I was actually working on my paper in the office today. Uh, had a heck of a time just trying to get that started. I really wanted to talk to Tamara again and read it by her again just to see what she thought. And nobody else was in the office today at all, so there's nobody to really soundboard off, you know what I mean? Um, but I, that's cool. I think it sounds pretty good. Uh, and I got my cover page done. I found some neat pictures and stuff. I always try to make them look pretty cool. Uh, spark some interest right off the bat. But uh, any who's got that rolling. Um, I'm glad you guys got to see some of the desert in bloom. If you get up in the hills a little bit higher, there's even more stuff. All kinds of colors, dude. It's Indian paintbrush and all kinds of little itty bitty little flowers that when I first moved out here, I guess it would have been in November. So it must have been the following spring. I was working out on Black Canyon Trail. And I can remember hiking out to meet my partner on the trail and uh, I remember thinking, holy crap, there's a lot going on here, a whole lot more than than I really thought, than most people I would think, if you're not familiar with the area at all, would think uh, how much how much there actually is going on, growth-wise, life-wise. Uh, still a shitty place to get lost or break down, <laughs> that's for sure. But there you go. Just don't do that, take extra water. Uh, I kind of got sidetracked there. The reason I came out here to begin with was to tell you guys, catch you up on the house. Um, we're a little set back, just a couple of days. I don't know if I had made mention or not. Uh, there's a doggy door in the door that goes from the laundry room into the garage. And uh, I think I may have mentioned this after the home inspection. According to code, that's supposed to be solid and give a minimum 15 minutes of burn time. Uh, and because it has the doggy door cut through it, it doesn't do that. Plus, it's supposed to offer a paper barrier as well for fumes or something like that. Smoke, if it should catch on fire or, you know, if you got a battery dump and sulfuric acid and those fumes and stuff. Anywho, so long story short, it doesn't meet code. I knew it didn't meet code. I signed off on it not meeting code as in I don't care. You don't have to have this replaced. I want the doggy door. Um, but long story short, it doesn't meet code, so they're going to have to fix it. So they got a guy that's going to go over to fix it either today or tomorrow. Then they've got to get the appraiser back out again. And then it's got to be, you know, signed off to the USDA that it does, in fact, meet code, blah, blah, blah. Long story short, we're supposed to close. I was supposed to close on Friday, and now it's going to be pushed back minimum till Monday, possibly as late as Wednesday. So, I mean, I just... I don't know how the hell anybody ever goes and buys a house. I never want to do this again. I never, ever want to do this again. It's just been an absolute terrible, terrible process from the get-go. I just, I hate it. I don't like, excuse me, sorry. I, I haven't enjoyed any of this. I mean, it's just been painful, nerve-wracking, aggravating. Um, you know, just, it's taken years off my life, it seems like. So, sorry for the downer, no big deal, gang, but uh, just a minor setback. Brown here, call this a porterhouse. In my mind, any T-bone bigger than 20 ounces has got to be a porterhouse. Look at the size of that filet. I mean, the filet is as big as my freaking hand, boys and girls. That's a $22 filet mignon right there. Look at that sucker. You kidding me with that? Yeah, large like March, because that's how we roll. Here's the like a first clear sky we've had all night. This I want corn. And then it's got corn. That's not on the Agnes diet. Oh, but they got fresh corn at the store. Yeah, it is the season, but no. Whatever. You'll have we had a cheeseburger. That was days ago. Days ago. I know you can't see this, kids. Dark vlog. I'm the master of the dark vlog. It's a giant steak. You saw all the steak before, but now it's on. Me and mommy's just been bitch festing about uh, Wait. the whole. We're bleeping. Oh, we're bleep festing. <laughs> Sorry about that. Those mother bleepers have bleeped up all of our bleeping stuff. Anyway, we're just 
Yeah. Venting it out. But it is what it is. I mean, it's going to happen. I mean, the realtor, even Paul even told me today, he's like, you've bought a house, Scott. Just relax. I'm like, that's easy for you to say, dude. You know, till it goes ting a ling a link ting a ling You know, those are keys. ting a ling a link That's not a dinner bell or tea time or whatever. That's keys. ting a link When I hear ting a link when you guys see ting a ling a link rejoice, celebrate. Um, I talked to my friend Erin today. She's like, are you excited yet? I'm like, no, dude, not at all. I'm worn out. I'm worn out. Yeah, well put. I'm worn out. I'm pissed off. I'm sick to my stomach. I'm frazzled. No, I'm not excited at all. I won't be excited until somebody hands me the keys and I say, or they say, you have nothing else to do. This is your home. Good day, sir. I, I want the I want the full on. I want Willy Wonka. Good day, sir. I said good day, sir. That's what I want. I don't care if they're mean, dude. I just want them to say good day, sir. We are done with you. You know, send me a check June first. Otherwise, we don't want to talk to you. And I'm like, good day, ma'am, sir. All of you, bleepers. <clears throat> Damn you, brother-in-law, for all the... I want to cuss bad on this vlog. <laughs> now I feel all self-conscious. <laughs> watch out for the interwebs. Yeah, yeah. We love you, interwebs. <laughs> all right, that's enough for now. Food vlogging. Delicious filet mignon. Asparagus. Marinated tomatoes. And some of that spectacular blue cheese. Had a little extra knob on my fork for my steak. Okay, gotta go. Yeah. Alrighty, kids. Dinner was awesome. There is absolutely nothing left. A few slices of tomato that Mama's gonna take to lunch tomorrow. Yay, view. But that's it for the evening. Uh, gonna hang out for just a little bit longer than go to bed. Pull on more day tomorrow and Nothing to really look forward to, but more waiting. <laughs> but I'll keep you guys posted. Peace out. Good night.